Pick some vegetable and eat like this. Mm. Mm. So guys, good afternoon and happy happy Wednesday to all of you. And finally today is uh, today is my daughter's first day of school after uh, eat break holiday. So we are just quite busy at home today because. She has some assignments to make and uh, I have to help her to make her math kit for the school. So anyway, it's a lunch time so I'm gonna make a uh, aloo gubi masala. So aloo means it is a potato and gubi means it is a cauliflower. So and then along with this I'm gonna make also a chapati. So this time I'll show you how I make my chapati. So anyway, I have here, this is a cut uh, cauliflower into a chunk. And then, it is a mixed vegetables. I just put everything here. And a potato into a small cube. So it's just easy to cook. And I have this one here, a green peas. This is fresh green peas, not a frozen one. Actually, it started to sprout. Because I bought this last week on this is starting to sprout. So I have to cook it. And then, and we also gonna need uh, onion. I have here uh, one large onion, onion sorry, chopped. Uh, two green chilies. Um, cilantro or coriander leaves for garnishing. And one and a half tomato. And aside from this, we'll be needing spicy Indian spices. So, please join me. Let's get started. And now, we have to throw our green chili and our onion. And let's cook this until it gets translucent all or golden brown. And also, we'll be needing uh, ginger garlic paste as well. We'll be needing this. We'll just cook this until it gets translucent. So, this is okay now. And then now, we have to put our ginger garlic paste. Just one teaspoon. Okay, now soft. So now it's time to put our Indian masalas. So this one, all my masalas. So now here, we have to put one teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon of red chili, half teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of coriander powder. And half teaspoon of garam masala and half teaspoon. 
teaspoon of cumin powder and for the salt I'm gonna put 3 4 teaspoon of salt and let's just saute this mix all together the masala and saute for just one minute As you can see, our masala nice color, change color. Now we can put our vegetables. We put all our vegetables in. This is just like a dry vegetables. So we have to mix well all these masalas. So we have to make sure all our vegetables are coated with the masala. Okay, then they just then they just simmer this for for like three minutes before we cover. So on this, we'll put just a sprinkle of sugar. The reason I'm unpotting this is just to neutralize the acidity from the tomato. So just a sprinkle, not so much. And then now, we have to cover this and simmer. And simmer until the vegetable gets cooked. So this is all well blended. And all our vegetables is being coat, uh, it's already coated with all the masala. So this is perfect now. So now we have to cover this and cook until the vegetable. Uh, we have to cover until vegetables gets cooked. So I'm not putting any water because the cauliflower lives water. So I just want dry vegetables and for those who want gravy, of course you can add water. So for the meanwhile, let's make our chapati flour. So I have here a flour, wheat flour and I'm gonna put salt. This is like two cups of flour and just putting like one fourth teaspoon of salt and a water. Make sure when we touch our flour, our hands is clean. So we, I just wash my hand. So now we do the mixing. We have to put the water gradually, not in one time. So we have to mix it well. This is done. We'll make our chapati once we finish with our vegetables. Normally, I put it in the container and just just sit aside this one. So now. We just let this open. We just simmer and without the cover. So this time, we can put our cilantro or coriander leaves to garnish and just mix all together so 
this vegetables is ready, it's cooked. Now we have to taste if the salt is okay. Otherwise, we have to adjust if it's needed. This is cauliflower. Perfect, no need to add salt. <coughs> Potato also is nicely cooked. Mmm, <coughs> I like it. So this is okay now, it's ready. All cooked. Our aloo gobi masala is ready. Now, time to make our chapatis. I'm using pure ghee. This is vegetables pure ghee. Vegetables. So now first, we have to make a bowl. And please press. This is how I make my chapati. My husband will eat rice, so I just have to make two for myself. My daughter also is eating rice, so I'll have chapati. So on here, as you can see, I make a hole. This one, I'll just put a tiny one drop oil up your ghee. Just put tiny one and then close it. The same one as well. And then, this is the wheat flour. We have to put it here so it doesn't stick. And roll it. When you do the rolling, you have to do it in the round movement. I've been making I've been making chapati now for the last five years, five six years I think. But from the big from but from the first time it was very difficult for me. I cannot even I cannot even make a round chapati. But now every day is improving. But in India, I don't make chapatis in India. My mother-in-law make. So now, this is okay. As you can see, my chapati. This is how it is. So now, we'll make the other one. For the beginner, it is really quite difficult I know I feel you guys but the more you practice makes perfect just keep on practicing so your hands be your hand should be soft is now my second one so now we have to cook this so I only make two of this now we have to make our pan hot so we have to make sure before we put our chapati the pan should hot hot enough so now this is okay so we can put our chapati so much oil just a little bit
So we are waiting until the other side gets cooked. This is okay. So my chupa my chapati is okay. So cook. Now we put the other one. And we cook the other one. And now we have to flip over. As you can see. Now we put oil. And just leave it for some time. Until the other side gets cooked. Okay, as you can see. So we have to. And now this is okay. This chapati is perfect. Now this is done. Now we do the plating. So now, this is my food. This is my lunch. Two chapatis and alu gobi masala. Cauliflower, uh, potato cauliflower masala. So, this is how we this is I normally eat. Oh, this is how I eat. So you just have to take a piece of bread or chapati and just go to the vegetables. Pick some vegetable and eat like this. Mm. Mm. Nice. I like it. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Hello guys, so that's all for today. This is the recipe I could share with you today. So this is very healthy and budget friendly. Budget friendly. And uh, until next time, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.